Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can uh, morph a series of buildings, uh, which I have made from a series of meshes uh, inside a boundary. So if I change this rectangle, this is going to update. Uh, I can uh, add an additional gap, which I'm going to explain in this tutorial. So the boundaries don't intersect. And also there is a randomizer. So the position randomizer, so I can uh, change the location of the buildings and also an angle randomizer which is going to change the uh, uh, alignment of the building so for example you can see that this building is in the y direction but we can change the direction into an x or any uh, ortho direction which i'm going to explain in this tutorial uh, you can also use this algorithm to maybe just give a series of simple uh, boxes or maybe other geometries you can use cone you can use any geometry you have and then just uh, produce a random uh, distribution in the inside of a rectangle which is really easy to understand because the concept is uh, using simple tools in grasshopper to make the final results okay let's get started and take a look at the algorithm okay before we go forward let me just turn off everything and go to the first part which is the geometry we want uh, as you can see here you can give any meshes for example i have uh, given a series of buildings as the input just put them uh, anywhere you want a uh, right click and just say set multiple meshes uh, or you can just give a series of geometries for example these are a series of boxes and I've just given this to a box but you can also use a B rep uh, or, or anything that has a three-dimensional uh, bounding box around it okay after we have uh, produced uh, meshes or any geometry uh, we have to find their uh, faces uh, on the ground uh, what we have to do is to randomly select them so for example if we have uh, seven meshes we have to find the list length uh, you can use the set list length to find it and when we have seven the output is going to be seven but I'm going to say uh, six uh, the reason we are using a uh, 1 minus, uh, if you go to the expression, you have x minus 1 of the list length, is that when you have, for example, let me just give a panel to this so you can understand it. Uh, when we have seven meshes, the index is going to be from 0 to 6. So if it's 7, it's going to be x minus 1. And that's why we're going to use a random component. You can find it in set uh, sequence random. Uh, the domain is going to be from 0 to 6. Uh, right click on the random and use integer numbers. And we're going to give a seed to that. So for example, if I connect a panel to this, uh, this is going to give a series of uh, indexes we want to select. So we're actually saying to select the third building, uh, fourth building, sorry, it's just like added one. Uh, the first building, the uh, third building, and so on. So we have a list of uh, a series of building selection we want. And then uh, the number is really important. How many numbers should we produce, which is going to be produced from the second part.